today, Middlesbrough FC take on the French league side Saint-Étienne. Now, Saint-Étienne have a new manager, um, and that is Ghislaine Printant, who is obviously the assistant coach of Jean-Louis Gassant, who was announced his retirement just at the end of this season. Saint-Étienne travel approximately 860 miles. Um, as I said, I don't know if they're coming by the bus or whether they're coming by plane. They play their home games at the Stade Geoffroy Richard in France. They finished fourth in Ligue 1. They got knocked out in round of 32 of the Coupe de la France and the Coupe de la Liga. I'm really looking forward to this. We're not sitting in the usual seat, um, but we're still sitting in the same end. <laughs> But as I say, I'm looking forward to this. Let's get straight into it. So, here we go. This is Ben Duck uh, from YouTube. Well, back to YouTube FC now, actually, for a bit of a while. Um, what's your thoughts for the game against St. Etienne? I reckon it'll be tough. Like, you know, it won't be an easy test. I think. I reckon we'll get a draw. Fair enough. What's score prediction like? 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, fair enough. Cheers. We have one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> score prediction for the day. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, get 3-1-0. Okay, fair enough. Anything else? <laughs> no. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. I hope you all enjoying the video so far. Just want to let you know. Um, Obviously, against Hartley Pool, I showed the match footage. Um, I was told by the students I'm not allowed to record any of the game footage, otherwise we'll get kicked out. So sure, that means you get to watch my reactions like normal. Enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> Hold on, that's a foul with wave free kick right outside the penalty area. It's it. Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. Gets it up and over, and just over the bar. Send it again on the ball, the shot blocked, good block. Have a hit! Oh! Lost the ball and a hit way, goodbye. Get it in, get it in! Oh! And again, oh! Free kick, come on! Free kick right beside the penalty area again. Free kick, it's a Samba Lanka! Oh! Just tipped over the bar by Rufi here, what a free kick that was. Corner kick. Smart save by Stefan Ruffier. Well, the referee's yeah, just, the referee's just told the same jetty and play to get up. When literally they are played, they should just pushed him straight on the floor. I'm surprised he got away with that, I really am. Free kick saying Dutty and in the box, headed on. Oh, he's in the crossbar. Get it out. Ooh. It's the closest we've come to a goal so far. Go on. Yeah. In the penalty area, plays it through in the shot. I think it was a Samba Longa with the first time shot. It's just the long side of the post. <laughs> half time, no nil here. Um, it's been a bad half, but it's just been very dirty. I think it's been a decent half. Both teams have had a fair share of the spoils so far. and. I'd be quite surprised if there is no goals in the second half. Uh, St. Etienne hit the crossbar of a free kick and ran into the penalty area and it was headed under the top of the bar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, there was a few chances of the ball where just needed one touch and just didn't get that touch. Um, but I think it's not been a bad half. Uh, second half coming up soon and hopefully we'll see a few goals in the second half. I still think it, I still think we'll win 3-1 though, in my opinion. Don't ask why. But uh, a couple of Sardinian fans in the stadium, um, fair, fair play to them, travelling to uh, come and watch the game, supporting the St. Etienne team. Um, and it's not been too bad actually, Etienne have been quite dirty, 
I'll admit. Um, but the Voxy played very well. I think both teams played us in an exciting game. And I don't think we're at the end of the action yet. Oh, what a save by the keeper. What a save. Oh! And look at We've moved seats. I'm literally the wall behind where I normally sit. So we'll actually get a better view of the game. Wefri's given a penalty to San And I'll tell you now, that's the most debatable penalty I think I've ever seen given. It's on the edge of the penalty area. They've fallen over each other. Like, that's not a penalty at all. Well, penalty. Penalty's are going to be taken for it again. And very controversial this. And it's right footed scores. Free kick for Boa. Yes! What a free kick! <laughs> What a free kick that was! Come on! Come on, what a goal! Free kick blasted straight into the bottom corner. Wuvier had absolutely no chance. What a free kick, what a goal! 1 1. Hey, Lewis Wing with the free kick! Oh, oh god, this is scrappy! Oh, he's won it, go on! Ping! Oh. That got rather scrappy, that was, the corner came in, it was headed on, and literally, ball through block, ball through block, ball through block, and neither team could literally win the ball down. Into the penalty area, uh, punched away by Ruffier, hit it! Oh, oh, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, oh my life. Get it in. Yo, what a hit that was. Ladies and gentlemen, 1-1 one, one between Bart and St. Etienne. One one here with Riverside Stadium. Um, incredibly scrappy that game. Um, the goal from the swing, no. Uh, brilliant free kick, bottom corner. Ruffy is getting nowhere near that. Um, good boost going into the season for the team and for Lewis Wing. We'd put, we'd put a decent performance in there. And the penalty, I think, just was the wrong decision. I don't think there was anything in it. I think it was just the two players collided. And the ref just decided to give a penalty for nothing. Ryan Shot had a right to uh, argue with the referee. And I think the referee was just awful. <laughs> He kept pulling the whistle for fouls every 10 seconds. Oh well, good boost going into the next game and it's on to Luton on Friday night. That'll be a live watch along if I can get that started. But that's it. Um, that's it for pre-season. Bow end on a high with one old drop with St Etienne with Lewis Wing getting the pick of the goals. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.